Mario once again with MIA Microflight and I just designed these uh, dies, uh, 3D printed dies to bend uh, a quarter inch aluminum tubing. Uh, I have some other dies that I've done, uh, made my own uh, bending machines in the past um, without realizing that uh, I had this uh, bending die. Uh, and so I took it out of storage and I decided to uh, uh, make some dies for this uh, so that I can bend uh, aluminum tubing, you know, just use this die for multiple uh, things. This can bend uh, not only as you can see it here, it can bend uh, uh, with precision, quarter inch aluminum uh, tubing. It can it can bend uh, probably up to uh, maybe uh, uh, half inch uh, tubing with the proper dies. These are designed for quarter inch uh, uh, tubing. As you see it here, these have markings and these dies are done so that I can uh, so that the total length of the curvature that is required to get a 90 degree is exact one inch. So I designed, I reverse engineered the formula for uh, figuring out the um, the uh, uh, figuring out the length. And so I started with the actual length. I wanted to um, make that a standard one inch length for the curvature. And so the die is designed, uh, like, like I said, in backward. Uh, uh, format uh, using the formula for figuring out the uh, length of the um, length of the, uh, the the curvature for 90 degrees and you can do that for any any number of degrees just uh, interpolate uh, the formula um, so these dies are designed that way and you, as you can see here I just made a, a perfect uh, bend here 90 degree bend and you can see the, uh, the slight indentation in the indentations here you know the, if you look at the shadows here, that's where the die starts and this is where the die ends. So we're talking about an in, and I uh, made these markings, mar markings at half inch increments. So this is a one inch from here to start to the end of the curvature for a nine degree for this particular quarter inch aluminum tubing. So it's working out great. I made this uh, also these other adapters and so on. We're going to be uh, making um, uh, several things, you know, for this uh, particular bender. This is called the universal uh, bending machine. And so a very inexpensive, inexpensive um, uh, bending uh, machine that you can uh, use to bend. Um, I, I actually bought it to bend uh, wire. Uh, and so I'm going to be making all kinds of uh, neat things for this. The only thing that I don't have here is a, um, is a dial, you know, with the uh, graduations for uh, degrees. So I'm going to be making that, you know, to adapt this uh, particular one. I have this uh, machine designed on CAD. I basically took all the measurements. And as we can appreciate in the um, CAD model, you know, I had to basically uh, bring out all these uh, components here for the uh, this uh, universal uh, bending machine. This doesn't have the knob here. This is actually a the, the threaded uh, rod that allows this to move in and out and clamp the uh, the die in place or the, uh, the tubing. And so this is um, the first thing I did. You know, you almost have to do this in order to get the dies uh, properly. Um, uh, um, designed for this particular machine and so these are some of the dies that, um, that I did. Um, so like I was saying I'm going to be working on some other uh, um, uh, modifications and adapters you know for bending all kinds of uh, things you know from uh, round tubes to solid stock to flat uh, sheet or flat uh, uh, flat stock. Mario once again with MIA Microflight and this is my uh, set up here for bending aluminum quarter inch tubing and this is working just very nicely with uh, properly designed and properly uh, sliced with the proper uh, these have a hundred percent infill you know in my uh, Cura settings so when I print this uh, it's a solid solid die and I also have these uh, um, uh, indentations or pockets here for um, uh, 440 uh, bolts and, and nuts. And this is done on both sides. You know, and it also has the markings for the uh, one inch length. Is that the curvature for a 90 degree uh, center line radius of 0.636 is what I came up with uh, with the target of one uh, uh, one inch uh, length for the curvature. And so this die is not. Um, uh, you know, so like I was saying in my early part of this video, I had to reverse engineer that formula, you know, to arrive at this particular 0 0.636.